Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll describe to you the problem set of how to develop a complete structural model for SARS-CoV-2. So, what does the virus look like? Is this SARS-CoV-2? Or is this it? Or are these many models that we have seen in literature, on our TV screens, in print, are these representations of SARS-CoV-2? For that matter, what is this? Is this SARS coronavirus or is this an influenza virus? So in order to actually improve our understanding of this virus, the first thing we need to know is what does SARS-CoV-2 actually look like? And in this problem, you will build a two-scale complete model of SARS-CoV-2 from its parts. You can think of it as all the different proteins and membranes and RNA of the virus as making up a Lego piece. Well, a very dynamic, fluid, not static Lego piece, but nonetheless, you can put all of these together to finally make up the full virus. So, what do we know? We actually know a lot. We know that it has this uh, positive sense RNA, which encodes for many of these structural proteins. We know there's a membrane which surrounds it. We know about the spike proteins that are embedded in the membrane. We know that the RNA is inside this membrane. The other uh, proteins that are involved, like the nucleocapsid, maybe the membrane protein, the envelope protein, and so on and so forth, right? And in fact, there has been unprecedented scientific progress in actually characterizing many of these parts. And I've made a list of some of these parts over here. Some of them are structural models. Some of them are actually modeled by different um, innovative ways. For instance, the DeepMind model from Google has been used to model the membrane protein M and so on and so forth. Uh, but we don't have all the details. For instance, we know there is a viral membrane. We just don't have a structure for it yet. Uh, we'll have to uh, come up with that part. We know, for instance, parts of the spike protein that have been structurally characterized. We still don't have uh, experimental structure for the full protein. We know there are sugar groups added to this um, protein, but again, there's no experimental model. There are several computational models and you could um, take it from there. So how do we approach this problem? You can think of it as an atomic scale CAD drawing. So the first step is that you take your cryo-EM data from literature and you try to reconstruct it, right? You will have the exact size. You can get many of these numbers from the eLife paper whose reference is in the problem set. You can know what is the size of this virus. Uh, you can see if it's a true sphere, how many spike proteins are actually embedded in it. Please get the membrane composition of similar viruses and try to model that. Add the proteins in the correct number as from the eLife paper onto the surface. Add all the other proteins that you need, the M protein, the E proteins also on the membrane as well as the proteins that are inside like the nucleocapsid, again in preferably the correct number that we have. As I said, a large number of proteins have not yet been crystallized. There are several models available, including from DeepMind and DE Shaw research group. You can use this, you can model the proteins that have not yet been crystallized. You have to decide in what resolution do you want your final model. That means, do you want to represent each and every atom, like oxygen, nitrogen, or carbon? Do you want to make them into bulk set of atoms, like, you know, methyl groups, hydroxyl groups? You want to make it even uh, lower resolution, so please decide a resolution for your model. And of course, uh, the entire virus need not be in the same um, resolution, but please mark it. And finally, I think the most exciting part is how will you visualize this? Traditionally, we have been visualizing it in 2D, but you could think of using a 3D model, like you would have your 3D movie with your glasses, or you could even think of AR and actually representing uh, this virus. So enjoy and have fun. Thank you.